Hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Um, welcome in. Do, do, do. Let me just open some stuff up. Stuff up. I am Lady QW. I am uh, a little, little teeny streamer here on Twitch. I enjoy a lot of Nintendo content, uh, but that's not what we're doing right now, obviously. So it's December. December is always kind of a fun, kind of a fun month. Hi, Kate Bloomer. Congratulations, Kate Bloomer, on uh, being first. You get to pat yourself on the back and uh, be first this stream, the first viewer to redeem first for the first time this week, this Tuesday. Um, hello. I hope you're doing well. Uh, it is December, and December is a stressful month for many reasons, as well as being a wonderful, happy month of joy. Um, but it, it definitely makes accomplishing things and planning things a little bit more complicated. So, instead of continuing to accomplish and plan anything, I'm taking the month and I'm playing more chill, relaxed games. I only just finished the DuckTales Holiday Special. There's a DuckTales holiday special The schools. I'm learning things. It's fine. It's, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just have to look that up. I'll just have to find it from 2017. It's really cute. I should go on my list for this year. I have traditions for this month. And my traditions are watching the original Grinch, um, like animated Gr How the Grinch Stole Christmas and watching a Charlie Brown Christmas, but everything else is flexible. Sometimes I watch a Muppet's Christmas Carol, sometimes I watch other Grinches, sometimes I watch other random holiday movies, whatever is a classic or typical holiday movie that I happen to enjoy, and that is not one that I have watched before, so I feel like I would really enjoy finding it and watching it. Season 2, Episode 6, Real Talk You Hate Charlie Brown, that's fair and valid. Not the character, but his friends. So... To be fair, especially in the context of a Charlie Brown Christmas, I think that's kind of the point, is that every single one of these characters is kind of garbage, and they're treating him like garbage. Well, I'm not defending them, I'm defending the proof of concept that says you don't actually have to like a character for something to be... A worthwhile experience any character what where was it that I was watching okay if K Menzel shows up here I have no defense for anybody within the peanuts universe um, Charlie Brown is doing his best to try to figure out life with absolutely no help whatsoever no other character is any good except for Linus this is this is my take on the peanuts universe Linus is delightful most of the time and everyone else is garbage <laughs> doesn't mean I don't love the concept you're garbage and we hate you Charlie Brown oh we're sorry yeah that is honestly settle down Beavis just resubscribed for 17 months peanuts is indefensible it it is it really is I don't know man I like I like the dog the dog doing the ice skating and the music. That's that's why I watch it every year, truly. <laughs> it's for the dog, who is also kind of a jerk to Charlie Brown at times. <laughs> I do like Snoopy. Snoopy and Woodstock are delightful. The B plot of a Charlie Brown Christmas of Snoopy winning the like light show decorating competition is very much something I wish got more attention. <laughs> Anyway, this is fine. Welcome in, Subtle Dumb Beavis. Thank you so much for that resub. I really appreciate that. Happy jingle season to you. And it's really nice to see you. I should probably start my poll, but I'm still like explaining the concept. Do we want to finish your D&D Tower in 2023? Yes, yes we do. We very much want to finish it. <laughs> There's, there's like two week weekends in January that I'm like not free already, but I will definitely message you guys with the actual like times that I am free because I would love, I would love to finish that. And thank you, Settled on Beavis, for redeeming seasonal candy and continuing the joy of the season. So anyway, as I was explaining before I got extremely distracted by the wonderful people in my chat, um, 
as December. And so I'm not trying to do anything. Uh, so what ends up happening in December this year is I'm letting chat vote based on previous game swap games as to what they want to see me play today. That's it. That's all. It's, it's very simple and like super awesome. Um, but I also have some exciting news, which is that I got to the calendar page. I'm sure, I'm sure y'all can see this. Hold on. Let me, let me just do a quick give up here right now. So I have been playing Pixello with the purpose of unlocking the daily puzzle in the bottom corner there. And I'm pretty sure to do that, you have to complete the calendar puzzle. And as you can see from the title of this puzzle and its information, this is the calendar puzzle. So we're going to do that together. Then we're going to do the daily puzzle. And by then the poll should be done and we'll play whatever game chat has voted for. That's the plan. I thought your next stream was Friday and I wouldn't see it, but you can make it since it's Thursday. Yes, I am in fact working on Friday and Saturday. Hey, Bloomer, that's a great question. And I would submit to you, please guess, because this is normal mode, so the puzzles are bigger now. And you can see that I've done three puzzles on this page. Please submit your guesses as to what these three puzzles are before I show you the title. And that will help us determine whether or not this is going to look like a calendar. That's what I think. Anyway, the poll is going live right now for what we're going to play today. The options are Animal Crossing New Horizon, Papa Louie 3 when Sunday's Attack, New Pokemon Snap, Kirby's Epic Yarn, and Yoshi's Story. So we're going to have that up for 10 minutes. Feel free to throw your votes at whatever you would like. I'm going to have a candy cane. But anyway, so... I don't know if it's actually going to look like a calendar, but in order, these three little pictures from left to right are supposed to be a factory, a seal, and I am not kidding, communism. Oops. Factory, seal, communism. I know. I get it. But hammer and sickle are words, you're right. Anyway, I also don't really think this looks very much like a hammer and sickle. That does kind of look like a, a pixelated seal. This being a factory is really dependent on you knowing it's a factory. Otherwise, it kind of looks like a piece of bread with eyes to me. The seal looks more like a horse than the actual horse did. Valid. 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 Anyway, we're going to try the calendar. Hmm, 15. Okay. This is a big puzzle. So I think we're making a box, chat. Oh, goodness. We're making a box with, like dates on it? Interesting. Calendars today the Lego Advent had a campfire with marshmallows to roast? Oh, that sounds so lovely. Is it lovely? Okay, so those are the little hooks that you hang the calendar up on. You know what? This isn't doing too badly so far. If you look at, like, the picture that I'm drawing in the corner here, I'm like, it does kind of look like one of those calendars that you hang on the wall. I'm glad that you think it's lovely. 24 is always Santa. Huh. I wonder if they'll do something creative with the Santa this time. So... Why does this seem more like tic-tac-toe or robot calendar than, like... We'll just... We'll just do this.
So that's what the calendar looks like, chat. What do we think? Does that actually look like a calendar? Not as much like a calendar as what the prize that we unlocked was. Honestly, it's not bad. Like, it, it looks kind of more like a week rather than a monthly calendar, but kind of like one of those little desk calendars where you're sort of flipping flipping the page over. I think they did a pretty good job. Um, and the actual point of what we were doing was unlocking the daily puzzle because now we have unlocked the daily puzzle. And so that's down here. I wonder if it'll work. If it doesn't work, this will be the funniest thing. Spending a lot of time on that downloading. Not getting a lot of success. Okay, cool. So, so far we have in the poll, which there is still like about half the time to vote on, but we have, it looks like two votes for new Pokemon Snap and one vote for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Are the servers even still up for this? Truly, I do not know. Probably not. So let's just see what the corkscrew puzzle is, if it'll let me do that thing. Yep, corkscrew screw puzzle time. This is fine. This is fine. So the thing that was interesting about it, because I know this to be true of the daily puzzles, they like cataloged them. And so they just turned into another set from like 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, like the year's worth of daily puzzles that you could also still do. But I'll be honest, I don't know if they're still doing it or if they're still maintaining it. So, maybe it doesn't work. We're gonna see what the corkscrew looks like, though. Uh... Wow. It's always interesting when you find those rows that are just, like, entirely full. So far, this looks like a tea. Speaking of tea, I get to have my David's tea from my advent calendar today. 11 again. Oh, okay. I see that. That's like a little handle. And I remember this one. I think it's called Sleigh Ride. I remember it from last year. It smells amazing. Like, I don't know how many of y'all are tea drinkers, but, like, gosh, is that tasty. So nothing here. Nothing here. This is fine. They stopped updating, so there may just maybe there aren't daily puzzles anymore. That's heartbreaking. I tried so hard. Hmm. Two good teas in your entire life, huh? So I know that the fives look like that. And so one presumes that that's the three and three, which means one presumes this is, this is very odd. Uh, chat, I'm not known for using corkscrews a lot, but is that what they look like? Green tea and you had a maple tea once that was pretty good. I have a maple herbal tea um, made by a Canadian company called Four O'Clock Tea in my cupboard and it is one of the best maple teas I have ever had in my life. And is it green tea in general or is it a specific green tea? Because I find lots of brands have different flavors 
in terms of like what their green tea actually is and sometimes they'll have additives in them and sometimes they won't i have a couple of favorites but that's as good as you can do with squares oh just in general that's cool yeah no daily puzzle ain't gonna work well that's annoying So now we're going to figure out what a bell pepper looks like according to this game. Tell you what it looks like right now. A super long water bottle. Hi, Sea Jinx. Welcome in. Nice to see you. You were here just in time. If you want to toss a vote or two towards what game we're going to play today, uh, the poll for that is live. We have Animal Crossing New Horizons, Papa Louie 3, When Sunday's Attack, New Pokemon Snap, Kirby's Epic Yarn, and Yoshi's Story. But I think you still have probably a minute left to vote. That's how you found out the maple tea was good. You know what? Good on whoever gave that gift that they actually got you a good tea. One presumes these fives are gonna look like that. Well. And then like that. This is an interesting choice of, of what a bell pepper looks like. It's a lighthouse. Fair enough. Okay, kudos retracted. This is a very, um, this is very square so far. <laughs> I understand that's because of, like, how these puzzles work. It looks to me now like a fashion model with shoulder pads. <laughs> so it looks like new Pokemon Snap is the winner. <laughs> Lovely. We're going to finish the bell pepper and then we're going to get that game set up. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Fashion model. There we go. Okay. I'm actually starting to see it now, I think. Uh yep. Yeah. Like I can I can see that as looking like half a bell pepper. Now I just need to finish the other half. Cool. Yeah. This is really interesting because this has like a perspective to it that makes me think, oh, maybe the normal puzzles actually like look a little bit more like what their titles say they should look like. I mean, except for the like, the hammer and sickle communism is still a little bit weird to me. The corkscrew is oversimplified. Oversimplified. It also kind of looks like an angel. You're right. I see it. Like a weeping angel statue base with like the wings open. Yes. You don't think it looks like a bell pepper, Sea Jinx? That's okay. That's fine. Do you think this one looks like a calendar? Because I think that's the one that we all agree is the most accurate to what it says it is. <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> Show Sea Jinx the horse. I think that's an easy. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. It is far away. See, Jinx, there's one that I did that is of a horse. It's before this. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see it, chat, because it looks so not like a horse that I just flung. This! Right here! Right here! At the bottom here, in the bottom left corner of the screen, that is apparently a horse. It's a horse. Pixel art, man. 
sometimes there just ain't ain't much ain't much happening there gas plastic i don't even know i don't even know what that's supposed to be rice wine okay not sure how that's going to be different from other wines but we'll see hand cart chicken and tea that's what we have to look forward to for next time isn't that great the horse it's closer to a horse than the bell pepper is to a bell pepper really you you think that this bell pepper is not as good as the horse that's interesting that's interesting but you know what everyone's entitled to their own perspective so our winner today is new Pokemon Snap, which is super convenient uh, because I'm pretty sure that's the game that I have in my Switch right now. So let's just see exactly how many technological issues uh, we run into when we try to fix this. So we're gonna be here for a second. Woo! Chemoxio raided my stream with 13 views. We raid with Seal and also Eel. Welcome in, Kemi. Welcome in, everyone from Kemi's stream. Fantastic. Wonderful to see you. I am Lady QEW. I uh, enjoy me some delightful Nintendo content, but that's not what we're playing today. <laughs> Happy December. Happy jolly season by whatever name you celebrate. I hope that you are doing well and wonderfully. So welcome in Glass and Whimsy and Kemi, Blue Eyes. Kemi, hope you all, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. You're a huge Picross fan? Oh no! Well, that's very sad because I just finished the Picross section. Ooh! <laughs> you hit me up in the middle of a transition. You know what? I might open it again just so that I can show you guys what we were working on because it was funny. Um, so what I've been doing for the month of December raiders as well as chat uh is i've been kind of streaming a bit more casually just to make up for the fact that schedules can can be stressful you know what they can be super super stressful in the holiday season um and so i have been starting each day uh with a very basic sweet little game um which is a picross like version of a game Pixello. It's like a free flash thing from a few years ago. This is just what I happen to be playing. It's fine. And today we worked on a calendar and a, a corkscrew and a, and a bell pepper, which we very much have mixed feelings as to whether or not this actually looks like a bell pepper. It's fantastic. It's an attempt was made. How many of you think this looks like a seal? <laughs> it's very much a real question that I have. Some of their some of their stuff is you thought it was a butterfly? Yep, okay. I see that too. Valid, absolutely. <laughs> There's so many different things it could be that's not a bell pepper. But okay, it's a bell pepper. Salut à tous. Welcome in, Hecho in Mexico. Nice to see you. I, I I now also see a butterfly. Thank you very much for redeeming seasonal candy and non-seasonal candy Mexico. I love it. So we have our seasonal candy, which is our delightful minty candy canes. And I also have myself um, some sour Jolly Rancher gummies for, for our non-seasonal. Because you know what? If you're going to have some sweet mint, you might as well also have some sour chaos in your life. That is what I think. Bam. Bam. This game is like one of those magic eye paintings. Game is secretly an ink flat test. That is entirely accurate. You know what, Kemi? I'm I'm gonna need to get you a shout out. Uh hmm. That's interesting. Um I wanna grab you a shout out there, Kemi. Thank you so much for dropping in. Ooh! And for the raid. And thank you for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. I will not forget. We will need to wash all of this flavor down. Woo! You were playing Ogarina of Time. How was that? How was your stream, Kemi? And just to let everyone know, I'm going to be jumping back over to this screen because chat voted today on what I was going to play. Um after I played some of that, like, Picross, and they chose new Pokemon Snap. 
So I just need to set up new Pokemon stuff, and I'm really hoping that nothing's broken. Because, you know, most, most days of this month, something's been broken. And I have opinions about that. So, there's the non-seasonal candy. Thoughts are bad, like, every week. It's awful. Here's the hydrate. Then I have myself a seasonal candy and a dehydrate. Thank you, Mexico, for a daily dehydrate. Delightful. Today was Shadow Temple Day. And you finally have the Switch N64 controller. Amazing! All of that is fantastic news. New Snap is super lovely and I have two new levels in it that I have not even tried. Hello, Bulvink. Oh, yeah. Pokemon Snap is also traumatizing. This is a very good point. Um, this is a very good point. So I just recently discovered... Uh, it, these, these are spoilers somehow for this game. If you haven't, like, played this game before somehow. Um, I, I, accident I accidentally murdered a lot of fish. Like, a lot of fish. Because I was trying to be friends with them, and I don't know what they ate, so I threw them a fruit to see if it would bring them closer to me. Um, and instead what it did is it made a wingle just, like, dive bomb one of them. And, and eat it. And I was not expecting that. At all. <laughs> I did not kill a Graveler. Yeah. And apparently, because it's true. Kate did, in fact, show me how to get a, a Pidgeot to um, catch uh, a Magikarp. I have not successfully gotten a picture of it, though I have successfully killed the Magikarp, like, four times. Just never got the shot. Somehow. I'm just repeatedly murdering Magikarp for no reason at this point. <laughs> oh! Do you know what, Kemi? I'm really glad you said that, because I think that's the level I'm about to play. So I do have the candy cane that Mexico redeemed for, uh, but Mexico also redeemed a dehydrate. And so just in the interest of preserving my flavor palette, I'm gonna have me some of these lovely all dressed ruffles before I put the taste of mint permanently into my mouth and then I can't taste anything else. Definitely toss a graveler and apple. They love those. No, I love this. I'm accepting all forms of help in this game because I would just take the same pictures over and over of the same Pokemon and never advance the game. So, like, if there's something y'all want me to try, toss it at me. Help. Also accepted. <laughs> yeah. Try to get the Magikarp. Do you know what? I might try a little bit later, Kate, but I've actually been saving the Lentil Seafloor and the Fireflow Volcano for in case I streamed it again this month, because these are levels that I unlocked last stream, but I still have never played, and I have no idea what to expect. So that's probably where we're going to start today. Just throw everything at everything. That's what I do! Oh my gosh, Kate, yes. Explain, 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 explain. The fluff fruit on the Cacneo is like the best. It, we're just gossiping at this point. Th again, thank you, thank you for the raid. Thank you to the viewers who are still here, who are listening to this chaos gossip before I even do any gameplay at all. But we're definitely gonna do some gameplay at some point. <laughs> Kate Bloomer has a super awesome picture of a Cacnea with like two fluff roots stuck to it, like it's got Mickey Mouse ears or something. It's amazing. Okay. I am finally caught up on all my eating, which is great. And hopefully I'm also caught up on life in general. So again, if you are not already following Kemi somehow, if you've hung around me this long and aren't following her, Go check her out. 
because she's pretty awesome. And heck, it's the holidays. You might as well meet some new friends, socialize in some different spaces on Twitch. It would be it would be delightful. Or, you know, go to the same old haunts like I do because I basically exclusively like live in certain streams. Like Kemi's, for example. She plays a lot of Pokemon. And it's really, really chill to like vibe to that. But also, today was playing Ocarina of Time. And that is one of my favorite games. And I would have loved to watch that. Kemi. Kemi. Thank you for redeeming Dehydrate. And thank you for redeeming Mix It Up. I'll, I'll get to the dehydrate once I don't have mint in my mouth. I hope that's okay. <laughs> so, mix it up. We are going to uh, drop the Christmas color. Make it purple. Love that. Purple definitely suits the vibe of my stream, like, way better. Ruin the flavors. It's more about having space in my mouth, Kate, but okay. We all know that I take suggestions. I cave easily to suggestions. So here we go. Here's my dehydrate. Also drink some orange juice. <laughs> if we redeem everything at once, will you eat everything at once? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, they're plotting. They're plotting against me. Help! Orange juice goes with pretty much nothing, including my taste buds. Chat, I think my taste buds are broken. This does not actually taste that bad. I have a half a candy cane and like four all dressed chips in my mouth right now, and it's kind of fine. <laughs> As if all dressed wasn't already enough flavors. Do you know what it reminds me of? This is not because it actually tastes like this. And so I want to preface that. It actually reminds me of eating a gingerbread house and getting a bite that has part of a candy cane on it. And that same mash of flavors. When like the candy cane flavor exists, but then there's also like the icing and the gingerbread to form the full taste. The candy cane flavor exists, but like the chips are like the main brunt of what was happening in there. Now I will note, the aftertaste of this, trash. Do not recommend. While it was in my mouth, it was fine. And then, and then it left my mouth. And now my mouth is no longer fine. My mouth is very unhappy now. And so like, probably not good long-term, but very funny. Can't be trusted with taste. Fair. Oh, and that is a very flavorful tea to clear out all the flavor. So the really cool thing today, chat, I didn't have any technical difficulties. This just worked. So let's try a volcano and see what's there, I guess. This is where we are at. Um, and if you want to stick around, I would love to continue having y'all. Um, but if you need to drop out for any reason, especially you, Kimmy, because I know you just finished your stream, please feel free. Get what you need, get whatever water you need, take whatever breaks you need from your screen time. And um, if you aren't going to take a break and you're here, then I'm happy to have you. And it's super fun. Super fun to meet y'all. So fire flow volcano time. Ugh. It still tastes so gross all up in here. Do not wreck- HELLO, PRETTY! YOU?! WHY ARE YOU BEHIND?! Why- Why are you behind everything?! No! Let me turn! Hi, honey! Hey, pretty lady! Oh! Oh, hello! 
Oh, there's more than one of you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's my new best friend. This is, this is what I presume is happening. Oh, you are so powerful. Yeah. Oh, so growl. Yes, hello, Mr. Luxray. And or Mrs. Luxray. I really shouldn't. They're like kind of swimming now. Okay. 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 Uh, hello? Okay. These are, these are choices. No, where's the little guy? Here he is. Oh! Oh my gosh. Can I just hit this guy with something? Hey. Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> you really nailed the timing on that one, D did I? Did I? I am a feared for my life, chat. <laughs> oh, you can use the D-pad for quick turns? You learn something new every day. Is this the guy? Can I hit him? Oh, hello. Hello, pretty. There's so many new Pokemon. <gasps> this one's sleeping. Look at him. Look at him doing all of his sleeps. Oh, that's that one. Hi. I have an eye. I think. Why? Why is this one just like hanging on? I I very much want. Graveler love fluff fruit. They love they love the fluff fruit. Whoopsies. Hello. Hello, Slugma. Oh my gosh, just just flinging oneself into the lava is apparently a Oh, that was something. Charmander! Hi! Hi! Hi, Charmander! That one exists. I love... Fire Pokemon are, like, my favorite chat. I don't know if I've mentioned this. Oh, alerted slugma. Amazing. And so I always love... Hello! That one was just... Just chilling in the... <gasps> There's more! They just... They just live here, chat! Oh my gosh. Oh? Bop. Hello? Bop? I don't know how to make that graveler move or do anything. The wall has collapsed. I can't go this way. But I want to go this way. I am, I am offended. I can't go that way. There's a quick turn. I didn't know. You commend my bravery? You know what? Cape Bloomer, I think I think I feel that way about every photograph I take, whether I'm streaming it or not. <laughs> But I can respect that. There's there's a lot more that goes into your eye for photography than mine. I'm just like, cute Pokemon! Whack a button. And and it really is that simple for me sometimes. I hope some of these pictures are good. But I do get very frustrated when I can't get exactly the shot I need. I'm sure you guys have noticed I zoom in a lot 
because I don't really like wide shots. They're not my aesthetic. And so it makes it very easy for me to miss important moments if I don't know exactly where a Pokemon is gonna be. And it means that I just, there are always certain things that I'm chasing. Oh, thank you. That's sweet. What do we think? I like the pond one. I think the pond one is the best one. You lack the same amount of self-doubt. I self-doubt in other areas. Kate, it feels like self-doubt is something that goes hand in hand with expertise. The better you get at something, the more you think you can't do it at all. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's a very pretty Pokemon. Meanwhile, we have a three star for sleeping or for roaring. I love the lack of eyes on this one. A two star for getting bopped with the fruit and oh, the most majestic one star. I could go with any of those and be very happy. Like, I'm sure there are, like, these are just perfect. Anyway. Um, that is, I think, my favorite picture of all of them, even though I, I don't think it's the best. But I'm gonna submit it and we're gonna see, we're gonna see whether or not it is enjoyed. Okay, so when they are ragey, that's a three star. That's a, that's probably a higher value one star than this three star would be, but I'm gonna take the three star in this instance. I have a picture of an Aerodactyl. I love that this is a three star. I also, seriously, I enjoy this photo. I enjoy compositions wherein subjects are not centered. And so like, I don't like that one as much. I wish the camera had been a little bit lower. Love this one. I love this picture. I'm probably gonna submit this one and see what the professor says because I think that's funny. Oh, power pose. Ooh, fighting pose is two star. So this one, I feel like is a little bit bigger, so we'll take that. Graveler just sitting there is worth two? Graveler hanging onto wall is worth one. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I think maybe that one? And sure! That was supposed to be a picture of one of those, like, lava slugs, but they disappeared. So, you know. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see what the professor thinks of these photos, because they exist. That's what I think. I love this one. And so you better also love this one. Diamond Star. What? Love it. I also love this one, but I can understand if the professor doesn't love this one. Nice. It always feels really nice when I get to submit a picture that I like and it gets a Diamond Star because I don't like every picture that gets a diamond star. Some of them I actively despise. Mmm, tasty tea. Garlic Grove. Well, I am happy to see you even briefly. Welcome in. And I hope that your meeting goes well when when you have to abandon for that. Thank you, C. Jinx. I also like my choices of pictures. This is this is why I like it when the professor gives me good marks for those choices of pictures because I think they deserve good marks. Now that Aerodactyl one was just the picture that I had. This one is so dynamic. It's not a good picture. I definitely would have done better in a different context. Talk about up close and personal.
still gold star. I think if I'd been able to get more of him in the frame, I probably would have gotten a diamond star on that one. Game Unferno. Hmm, silver star. Pokemon definitely not big enough. Yeah, okay. I hit the Graveler with like three fluff boot, Professor. I can't make him turn around and look at me. Hmm. There's only a silver star for that. So I definitely, there is improvement. There's a lot of improvement to be had here. There are ruins, they exist. Nice! And now we get level two. And so we can forget everything we've just seen. We're just, it's, this is fine. Type, fire, and also dragon. Nice. Ooh, we have something to report. Okay, so first of all, first things first, this princess is beautiful, absolutely majestic, beautiful. Do you know what? There is, there is one very small change that I would make to this, if I could, and the thing is, I don't think I'm ever going to succeed at it. But I wish I was just a smidge higher so that I got the whole tail into the picture and like a little bit less rock. I would have traded that. But everything else about this is perfect. And so like, what are you, what are you supposed to do with that? What are you supposed to do with that? Okay, I love this, so I'm keeping it. It's so cute. I think I can get a better version of that. Okay, those are the ones that I want. Back to camp we go. What did he do? What did he find? What has happened? Oh, we're all here. Okay. That means you too, Chad. Ooh, a new teleportation point. There's a mountain. Elsewhere forest. Into a forest that is above the clouds. Okay, Phil is very excitable. This is fine. Elsewhere forest. Yeah, the not here forest, obviously. Oh, interesting. It's spooky. Hold on. Okay. So I have a question. Actually, no, never mind. Like, I don't have night on this, but that's probably fine. I also don't have night on any of these beach ones. Have I, like, missed doing something? Like, do I have to do the seafloor before I get nighttime on these or something? Because I just don't have night. Is, is there night or is there not night? Okay, cool. That's fine. I I I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Except I'm, I'm already almost level three on that. So hopefully I'll get night on that soon. Anyway, I'm going to the spooky forest because this is very exciting. We have a spooky forest, and that is not what I was expecting. 
maybe do the seafloor just in case. Yeah, I was, it's on my list. Um, I didn't want to spoil it for myself as an experience in case I got to stream this again. So today is the day. Today is the day when I'm trying all sorts of new levels. I want to, I want to know what other levels are available. So many. This is so spooky. So you say... Oh my gosh, you're right. Hello? Okay. Our connection is spotty. Be careful. Oh! Oh, Esper. Hello? Please appear, sir. So that chameleon is not counting. Oh, that dude is... This way? Okay. Okay, I can see him though. So there's a psychic Pokemon here somewhere. I can see the Esper, but I'm too far away. Here he is again. Uh, why is that darkness? Oh, hello, hello? I would like, I would like the panda. What are you, you beautiful, beautiful dragon? Hi. Where am I? Is this, is this the same forest? Why have I been like triple teleported? Looks at cliffs. <gasps> Bulbasaur! Bulbasaur! Hi, friend! Oh my gosh! You're magic. You are truly magical, sir. Oh, yes. Okay, there were probably other things happening. Hello, Sawbuck. Oh, this Bulbasaur is my happy place. What what am I doing now? An excellent job guarding its net. Oh wait, hold on. I'm being teleported again. Why is this the world's most terrifying? Oh, do you know what I forgot to do, chat? I forgot to change the Well, the everything. Um I forgot to change my stream title. Hello? Why am I so bad at that? Any little peeps. There's another deerling. So this is the weirdest level. If I throw this at you, will you turn around, sir? Am I- what am I hearing? Because I feel like what I'm hearing is an esper. And I don't know where they are. Okay. Oh, hello. There you are. And the, like, chameleon... Oh my gosh. Shiftry is asleep. Love it. Hello, floating Esper? What? Uh, 
Ah, missed. And then spoopy cavern, spoopy cavern fog again. Hello, beware! Beware, bear! Oh, Phil. Of course you'll get a better shot than that. I believe in you. This is such a weird level! Oh, that's my own intention. Hello? <laughs> oh, I see. I saw you eat that, sir. I'm gonna run out of, like, camera? More ancient ruins, why not? I don't... I don't... Like, he's right there! But I'm not allowed to see him! Rude. Okay, so that happened! This is a very weird forest chat. You're really hoping Thursday is Animal Crossing? We can vote for it. So can so can everyone else. Drampa burns down bullies' houses. Actual Pokedex information. Yes. Oh my gosh, they sound great. Eleven Pokemon, sixty-six photos. There's a nice amount of math there with averages, but I definitely took more pictures of Bulbasaur than anything else. So, Shiftry, what have we got here? Okay, so that's a three star if I get him jumping. He looks like a, like a grandpa. The sleeping one is so funny. I'm going with the sleeping one. Okay. Yelling. Yelling. Standing there creepily. Glowing. Creepy standing or shouting? Let's go with shouting. So Esper. Terrifying. The glowing one is worth more, but these are... Oh my gosh, the eyes! But that's a more centered photo. I'll do that one. Sure, Clotad exists. So pretty! I'll go with that one. Ooh, the angry nest guarding. If I had hit it sooner. Some of these are very cool shots. If I'd hit it sooner, this would be a clearer picture. It is very foggy because I'm in the middle of that weirdo transition. Let's do the two star on the nest this time. <laughs> oh my gosh, this panda's adorable. Uh, that one, that one's my favorite. Okay, so... This dude isn't really facing me in any of these, uh, so we're gonna go for the three-star one. Happy Bulbasaur! Happy Bulbasaur! Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. You can see him running. I love him. Oh, Bulbasaur, you're too cute. Taking that one because it's the best photo ever. 
Okay, that was after I hit it with an apple. We're gonna go with that one. Beware, bear. That one probably, one of these two. We'll take that one. This, this dude. See, see the lack of subject that is this guy? What am I supposed to do? It is rude. Okay, so for shiftry. How do you like my sleeping Pokemon friend, Professor? Getting the whole Pokemon in the frame? Okay, fight me for one. Rude. These are like, they're good photos, Professor. You annoy me. Silver Star Esper, okay. Dealing! Very pretty, very pretty dealing. Diamond Star Deerling. This is very nice. So unpheasant. Okay, Gold Star Unpheasant. That's unfortunate. This Pancham and the Shiftry here, like in this little section of the course, were so much like grumpy old men. Like, oh my back. That is what I imagine. That is what I imagine this little dude saying. So diamond star photo according to the professor, and I will take that. So Drampa. That is a diamond star sleeping photo for like seeing a pile of Pokemon and taking a picture of it. You had better not have anything mean to say about this professor. Thank you. Diamond Sore, Star Bulbasaur, Diamond Sore, Bulba Diamond Star. Amazing. This little boy is perfect. I accept no criticism of him. Ooh, that's also a diamond shot. That's cool. Yeah, Gold Star seems fair. Wow, forest level two. Thank you, C. Jinx. It was lovely to see you. I hope you are having a fun time with where you are at. Ooh, I got the amateur photographer. Bummer bamboo. Wait. Does that mean? Okay, hold on. Because that just said I discovered summer and elsewhere forest. Does that mean it could be different seasons every time I go through that forest? Because if it could be different seasons, that would be amazing. Okay. This is a terrifying horror movie. I like it. It's hard for me to not just save every single picture I even slightly like. That's fine. Back to Campy Go. Hmm. 
then we take a nap. There's a tremendous amount of energy coming from deep within the forest. It's got to be an alien apple, come on. Chat, is there gonna be another Illumina spot? Illumina? I don't really care how it's pronounced. <gasps> there he is! Okay, so that's fantastic. Just like blitzy four parts of the forest. Hilarious. Well, I'm definitely gonna try this. We are floating on the water, chat. magical am I a tick oh I am not gonna make any friends with you by like oh my gosh I want I want better pictures than what I am getting. Beautiful. Oh. Where are we going? Why do you think a fluff fruit could reach? Where do you think a fluff fruit could reach? So I keep hitting it. Oh, hello. Such magic. Come on. My aim needs to get better. Where, where are you? Oh, no. What? How far away is that flower? Hmm. I get the feeling that you're looking in the wrong place. Uh, hello? What am I? I don't understand what the scan is doing. Okay. What, what am I supposed to scan there? That is the teleport spot, I think. 
I was swimming away. I'm glad you noticed that because I spent like half of that course not knowing where it was. Which is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alothic is very pretty. I should share my holiday specials list. What do you mean? Just like saying all of the different fun holiday things that I watch? That's true. And I have not been because I have been at work. What do you mean I have no photos to show the professor? I'm sorry, what? Did I do something wrong? When what glowing pattern appears? What glowing pattern? Do you mean this glowing pattern? I don't, there's literally glowing. There is so much glowing. One makes me angry. Okay. Um, I think this is the best one that I took. Well, fine then. Fine. If you if you don't like what what I found, I'll just I'll just do something else. That's fine. I mean, is there a specific thing that I'm like? not noting about it. Does it have a tattoo sometimes that explodes into glittery butterflies and I was getting pictures of the glittery butterflies instead of, of the tattoo? I mean, feel free to say whatever you want. Two? Kate. Why would anyone know that? Why would the game demand this? Does this mean the next time I find an Illumina spot, I need to hit it with three orbs? Because fight me, game. Absurd. Okay, well, we're not doing that today because I want to try the C4. It's just Milotic? Why? Why is this one different? That makes even less sense. It's fine. I know you don't have the answers to that. I, ju I just... I j Every once in a while... So, Origami King did this too. Every once in a while, I'm like, what exact kind of brain do you think I have if that's what you were expecting me to do? Hello! Oh my gosh, yes. Magikarp looks like a king of the sea right now. Oh, okay. Where are we going? Yeah. Why is the course one moving away? Can I throw things under? I was blocked by a boulder. I mean, I absolutely think several Pokemon could break that down. Bill? Hi, Finny. I'm not trying to get you killed this time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that time. Ooh. Is it glowing? Where is... Oh, 
Oh my gosh, these are so majestic. The Pokemon under here are delightful. Professor isn't gonna like that picture, but I do. Oh my gosh, yes! Wilmer! Are you singing? Turn around! No! Oh! Evil sharks? Evil shark do 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 evil shark. That whale seems upset. Hmm. Feels kinda dangerous. Ooh! Hello, quillfish. Feels kinda dangerous to be going down here where the sharks are, but Oh, I was supposed to throw a fluff fruit at one of them to see if they would eat it. Oh my gosh, yes. So angry. Oh, so angry. Such rage. The beautiful quillfish rage. Hello, Tentacruel. You being spooky over there, sir. Nice. Oh, there's another one. Uh, what else have I missed? Definitely things. I have definitely missed things. Oh my gosh. Turn around. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, we're going up. But I can't, I don't have an orb to make it bright. Oh my gosh. I'm so easily fascinated by very specific Pokemon. Am I supposed to like hit you with something? Um, yes. Oh! Sure! Okay, we're just getting teleported now. That's good to know. You think going forward it does take more than one orb for the boss Pokemon? Fair enough. For some reason your sister and I- Oh weird! I mean, it sounds like it started because you guys know how to have fun. That's what I would say. I'm gonna go with this one. Even though I like this one. None of these are good shots of Magikarp. <laughs> that one. The Magikarp just like living. Okay, I have some some tail. Some tail in the seventh photo. Of the side I am getting in this one but I think that one I have the complete Pokemon in the picture Wilmer. sure first photo seems fine can't give him that okay I have so many photos of this okay we'll we'll do the one where I whacked it with a Yes. It's angry! It is so big! I'm definitely doing this one. 
Oh no, Tentacruel blinked. I know. So rude. This is terrifying. Sharpedos truly frighten me. I keep expecting- there was like a Squirtle running away from one in the Coral Reef level. I was like, no, Squirtle, faster. I was afraid to do anything in case it meant the Squirtle got eight. They'll charge you? Yeah, like I have a good picture of a Magikarp, man. I also have a good picture of a Finny. Seriously? Mm, no. This is a very pretty picture, in my opinion. Good. I better get me Diamond. The coral reef is very pretty. Like the setting for this level is very pretty. Oh hi Kimenzo. Oh yeah! I keep forgetting to do that! Do you know what? I keep thinking that and then I just don't and then I just don't change things. Thank you. Thank you, Kimenzo, for that. Bam. Poke across. <laughs> Poke across an ocean. It, thanks. Thanks, Kimenzo. I, I meant to, and then Kemi raided me, which was lovely and wonderful, and then I forgot. And so then I meant to, but then there was like an Illumina phenomenon and I was like, ah, and I forgot. And then I meant to, and then, then we went under the sea. Under the sea. I am so glad that's a diamond photo because it's perfect. And you cannot suggest any improvements to this photo as far as I'm concerned, it's perfect. I think we have an aesthetic discrepancy, me and the professor. I prefer the composition of photos wherein the subject is not centered. And uh, for the most part, that doesn't mean there aren't exceptions. And the professor very much wants me to center all of my photos, which is like, fine, I allow. And he also sometimes has this obsession about like wanting the whole subject in the screen. And I legitimately think that making sure I got the end of each point and the tail of this quillfish in this picture would have made it a worse picture. You know what I mean? Because the point is that the roundness is expanding past the edges of the canvas. That's what makes it a good shot. And so like, I'm really glad that it was a diamond shot anyway, because I, I wasn't really willing to listen to him sass me about not getting the whole Pokemon in the picture again. It's, it's fine. It's fine. And see this one, look at how good this is with the balance of the orange next to the blue and the background foreground, like the half scale. I don't know. I think this is a pretty picture and I don't think he's going to like it very much because the Pokemon's not in the middle. Placement indeed. To be fair, we've found a healthy compromise, K-Mental. But it was very funny. When I first started working where I work now, um, like, I work retail. One of the jobs of retail is often merchandising, trying to make product look good, putting it out on a shelf. And I really love diagonal lines. I really love, like, specific types of balance. And she was very much into symmetry, halfway down the shelf. And, um... It took a while before I like actually talked to her about why she kept moving the things that I put out. But we've we found compromise is my point. We found ways in which she likes it and I like it when we do up displays. And that's good. That's healthy. I wish I could compromise with this AI professor. Anyway. 
This photo is perfect. Anyway. It's fine. Oh. I need you to photograph a glowing crystal bloom in the ocean? Sure. But where? Where is the glowing one? It told me there was a glowing one and then I didn't see it. So what I want is I want this one and I want this one because they're both lovely. Um, do See, the problem is neither of these are the picture I wanted. The picture I wanted happened like in between them. But this is perfect. Noteworthy behavior? <laughs> No, not at all. Definitely not noteworthy, even a little bit. It's fine. I think there was a glowing crystal bloom in the, like, reeds, but I couldn't see the flower. I could only see a fish. I don't think I got anything new because I didn't level up. <sighs> so that getting the shot of the glowing crystal bloom is definitely how I unlock orbs from Maricopia. Which is important because I don't have orbs for this right now. But there's a volcano. Psst. You have a secret? What's your secret, Kate? This main menu area? Or a more main menu menu area. Top left. Like, you mean what's behind behind where my camera is? It does not... It does not say anything here. Is it supposed to? Too early? Okay. Okay. I'll keep my eye on that corner. I will keep my eye on that corner. Okay. We're gonna try to find a glowing crystal bloom under here. Okay. These are pretty colors. Oh, magical. Mm. Of so. Oh, I missed. Threw the fluff fruit at the wrong time. So pretty. Adorable. There's 
use that one. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Thank you. That one better be glowing. Is it glowing? Because that would make sense to me that I had to make the... Ooh, that's a fun shot. It would make sense to me that I would have to make that guy move in order to get to the glowing... Okay, so the fish do not eat. I don't... If I do this, will he pay attention? He will not. I don't know what the whalemer is upset about. He's upset. Oh, hello! Doing a backflip, huh? Cute. Sharpedo. Dislike the Sharpedos. Oh, hello. You're right. Th you're right there. Okay. You're right there. Okay. I'm fine. Pikachu. Oh my gosh! I don't know where it went, but that was amazing! Can I do it again? <laughs> Very funny. Okay, so nothing over there. Are you gonna turn around, Tentacool? Yeah. We do. We do a lot of of mean things to Pokemon in this game. We're not the good guys, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Ooh. I got that a second before it wasn't what I wanted anymore. <laughs> Ooh, very pretty. Haha, -ha, also very pretty. Oh, Manty. Oh, Manty. Oh. I, the more I play video games, the more I think the main character is just never a good guy. Hey, Menzel had this problem too. Answer, probably, maybe. What's your question? This picture is beautiful. Is Jurassic World a Christmas movie? Um, if Die Hard is a Christmas movie, Jurassic World can be a Christmas movie. I have no problem with either. This one. Sure. Ooh. We have a two star. That one. Sure. Amazing. the fluff root. It was 
doing perfectly fine, and then I attacked it. Oh, the problem is it would, even though this is a perfect picture, I don't have a one star yet. It's just, it's so perfect. You watch the Guardian's holiday special, you're frustrated by one throwaway joke, which is apparently not a joke. I mean, frustrated as in, like, you're you're annoyed that it was in there, or frustrated because it, like, isn't understood, or because it's, like, played off wrong. Sorry, there's many reasons why I could be frustrated with things. It raises too many questions. I understand. I understand. So, this picture is perfect, but I think I want to submit this one to the professor. But I'm absolutely gonna save the other one. Okay, one star quillfish. Well, let's do that, why not? the Transformers could have been in Guardians of the Galaxy and they just weren't. Well, that's disappointing. Don't do throwaway jokes that link fandoms unless you want to make every fan mad. Such a beautiful picture of the magic carpet. I love the colors on the seafloor. Seriously? But it's so beautiful! Okay, fine. Sometimes things that I think are an improvement are not an improvement, according to the professor. That's fine. Sorry, what?! Oh, no. It sounds like you're right to be frustrated, Kate. That makes no sense. Don't say it if you're not going to back it up. Okay, this one I will actually replace, because this one is prettier than these guys. They're cute, though. They're like little friendos floating in the sea. Yep! It's a valid question. It is a valid question. Cool. I don't like that. This is also a diamond photo. It looks more evil in this one. I'm gonna keep it. Yep, worth it. I was right that that was gonna be a diamond picture, but sometimes I resent the fact that I have to submit things that I know are diamond pictures instead of being able to, like, submit a picture that I think is nice. If GoBots are Transformers and GoBots are real in the Marvel Universe, then Transformers should have been an Infinity War. The thing he's reporting had better be that he di he's giving me orbs. Okay. So this picture is amazing. And this picture is amazing. Mm, this one. And this picture is the best picture ever, ever taken. And I like that one as well, why not? It's interesting how much, like, 
holiday specials end up impacting our understanding of franchises. Like, think what it did to Star Wars. You're welcome for the nightmares for those who have just been re-traumatized by the mention of that particular holiday special. Sweet! Okay, I have orbs now. Chat, we got ourselves orbs. You've seen worse. <gasps> Fair. Okay. So now I have orbs that I can throw at things here. But I still only have daytime, which is fine. This is fine, but I have orbs. And so that's good. Ooh. There's so much to try and it's hard to know. So like, so first of all, I'll just play this game forever. And second of all, I have no problem looking up how to complete a Pokedex, right? Like how to get diamond versions of all four stars and every animal that's available, every Pokemon that's available. Like I have no problem looking that kind of stuff up. But as a trial and error game, Pokemon Snap has always been kind of like, very miss or hit for me and I say it that way on purpose because it's mostly misses very few hits because you have to like what I noticed going through the park trying to get the Pidgey Magikarp shot the Pidgeot Magik Magikarp shot what I noticed is depending on what I did with fruit and with orbs and with pictures leading up to that point it's like I can get different endings of what's available at the end of the park and so I've only once successfully gotten shots of Wurmple and Taylor like having it out because it feels like there's at least three interactions I need to have with the Taylor before that in order for them to be in the right place. And I can't quite trial and error my way into it. And that's kind of what it feels with some of the stuff on, on like the beach or um, in the forest where I'm just like, whatever it is that I'm supposed to do, I'm definitely doing the wrong thing. But like, I'm happy to just go through this course and take pretty pictures over and over again. It's fine. But if that's all I'm doing, it ends up being like a bit of a barrier to progress because you get like less experience for trips like that. So it's been an interesting endeavor. Yes, N64 Snap, I do feel like you could luck into most of them. Or at the very least, if you heard the logic of some of it, you could figure it out. I think the only, so the one thing I had to be told was happening because I kept complaining as I was playing the level over and over. I was like, the Lapras shots are never any good because I keep taking more and more pictures of them, but they're like so far away. And so someone did tell me at that point, well, the more pictures I take of the Lapras, the closer it gets. And so I'm just going to have to play and take those pictures over and over and eventually I'll get a good shot. And I'm like, fair, I was going to do that. The Magikarp was one that was interesting um, because it was both natural and also definitely something that I expected to happen like simultaneously. But like, I don't, I don't think I had to spend a lot of time with guides or walkthroughs on the N64 one. And this one, I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot of time on the internet. That is an opinion. I'm not very familiar with the comic ones. Okay, let's see what level two in the volcano is going to give us, because I want to know. Oh, I hope I'm still going to have the sleeping Luxray. Oh, hello! Hey, pretty friend. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Oops. Beautiful. Oh, no, 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 no. 
No, no, no. We've got ourselves a Shinx. I wanted the Shinx. I did not get. Hi. What is up there? Something's up there, chat. I can hear it. Okay. Panic. Panic. So I see the Charmander. I see those guys. I don't know. Who oh, hi, Talon Flame. Okay. If there is more T Rex. I am not seeing him. Which means I might have to go back into this one in level one. Oh! Oh, that was not. Okay. So he's sleeping there. Oh no, I missed another one. So what happens if those guys fall into that? Is okay. Just lava. Gotcha. Okay, that graveler's doing something. Broke everything. It's picking up a weird reading from in there. Well, what happens if I throw things at it then? Nothing? Maybe I need to drop the graveler into it more than once. Why is everything so different? Oops, sorry, dude. Very cute. I will take that adorable picture of a shank. This, this is a graveler. What, like, I feel like I'm in a totally different level. Which is fair. <gasps> It all glows! It's doing, it's doing a glow. Hello, Slugma. Certain that I have missed loads of stuff. Is the way into those ancient ruins open? Hello, Typhlosion. Oh, roar. Roar! Hello. Okay. I'm almost at the end of the course. Oh, okay. I am going into the door. Nice. Nope. Oh, that's a pretty shot. Oh, 
I would love to go further. Whoo! Oh, nobody will be a, as good at writing queer relationships for Transformers context. Fair enough. Wow, that sounds like there is a lot of... I mean, not really controversy, that's not what I'm going for, but there's a lot of uncertainty, it feels like. I love this picture. I'm gonna go with it. Hello, Focus! Super lovely to see you. We are, in fact, in snapping. I mean, Lady Cute up is snapping, really. We are taking pictures of Pokemon! They're so cute! Why is this only a one st what how do I make how do I do different start things? Okay, this is this is the best that I've got when it comes to shanks. If you think about it, we're focusing on Pokemon. That's very funny. Okay, so I have a choice between the three star glowing picture that is not very good. Or, like, some one-star pictures that are okay. Ooh! Ooh, a better three-star picture. Okay, I'll take the three-star picture. <laughs> angry! I take the angry bird. I always take the angry bird. So, with the flame out. It's a shame that I didn't get that guy. Oh. I'm doing very well, Focus. How are you doing today? It is so close to Christmas for those who celebrate that, and I am very excited for it personally. It is my favorite holiday. And apparently I'm celebrating by playing Pokemon Snap, which is great. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Mmm, cozy and snug emotes are the best kinds of emotes. I forgot one, don't I? Where's my snug, snug focus? There's a snug one, right? Oh, I don't know where it is. So we get, we get that one instead because that, that's the one that I could find at short notice. The slug! Ooh, okay, I'll take that. Oh, there is a graveler in that picture. I didn't notice it till after I took it. <laughs> the hands as it falls are with two stars. That is so funny to me. Ha. Huh. I really wanted to go with this one, but you can see its eyes in these ones. I think I'm gonna go with this one anyway. Cause it's just a more dynamic picture. Okay, so not that Aerodactyl. That one's not bad. But I think the ones where it was on the ground. Yeah. So these are really good pictures, but these are stars that I don't have yet, so we're gonna have to go for that. Okay, we're gonna get ourselves a little bit more poke booty Sure. I will show him the picture I took of the teleport point. Why not? Why not? Oh. This has been interesting. The professor and I are having some disagreements of our aesthetic preferences. Uh, but then every once in a while we get along, and so I thought this was a really cool photo. The professor also thinks it's a really cool photo, and I appreciate that. Still a diamond photo, because how could you take anything less than a diamond photo of that beautiful, beautiful Pokemon? I, like, I've already given the rundown, but I feel like I'm gonna see it so many times. You just can't, like, you can't figure... Anything judged by programming and code is going to have some discrepancies with the aesthetics of the human eye. And that's, that's okay. We accept this professor has some limitations. I like that that was a diamond three star. 
I thought it was a mediocre photo, personally. Um, not my best, but also I didn't know what I was doing. I'm not doing that dinosaur justice with my photos. Nice. It's just a cool picture with the lava, which I know is not the point. That's not what we're that's not what we're taking pictures of, but it's a cool picture. Okay, gold star on that cutesy little tortoise. I've somehow managed not to cause the destruction of any of the Pokemon in this level so far, uh, which I am proud of. Oh my gosh, I get to keep- okay, yes, absolutely. I know it doesn't look like a picture of the ruins, but it's a pretty picture. I'll take that, sir. Wow, that was a lot of points. And we got a title saying that we're decent. Oh, he's got something to report again. Truly, Altaria is just a magical Pokemon. Utterly beautiful. Is flying noteworthy behavior? I mean, according to me. But I can't fly, Kate. Oops, I broke the volcano with a graveler. My mistake. That one's really cool. I wish it was slightly lower in the frame. Oh no, another poke booty. Almost like you understand what sorts of things I post. That one's pretty cool. I'll keep that one. My phone is going to be filled with so many of these. I keep yawning. I'm sorry. I'm very tired today. That's fine. Hmm. Uh oh. Is this another Illumina spot? And I'm gonna be driven insane. Fair. Do you know what, Kate? That's fair. If 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 you don't if you don't tell how many Pokemon photos I have in my phone, I won't tell anybody about the Transformers photos in your phone. It's true. It's a duplicate. Anytime you ever put anything on Instagram it, and it just duplicates it, I'm like, stop that, please. I already had that photo. Yep. You know what? I'll try it. I'm still mad about Milotic, but I will I will try this. What are you all knowing? This one sucks? Don't they all suck? Throw apples? Okay. Gorgeous! You're pretty! Oh my gosh! They're so pretty! 
still throw apples? Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna get any good pictures. Okay. Am I, am I hitting you? I think, I think it's too far. How do I? Am I, am I supposed to actually be able to hit it? Because, right. Okay, but I can't like throw far enough for any of this. Oh, I think I hit him with that. How? I mean, you're literally magical. Okay. So I've hit it with two fluff fruit. Oh my gosh. When am I allowed to take pictures of it? Oop! I want to hit. I, I think I might want to hit the flower. Okay, hit the flower. Hello? Hello? Hi? Hello, gorgeous. Do I not? Um. Okay. Did I, did I get it? Is it working? Why are any of these? Oh, hi, Herschel. Hello? I don't know if this is working or not. It's glowing at least. Oh, right, scan. Scan when I don't know where it is. That is over here. They they are they are on fire again. Friends. I am not very good at aiming. Oh my gosh. Nope. Ah! Stay still! I think, I think when it glows like that, that's when I can take pictures of it. Oh my gosh. That is, that is very close to me. You are made of fire. Oh boy. Huh. Hello? Thank you. Oh, this way? Disappearing. That's fine. I think I got at least one picture, so that's nice. Herschel, thank you so much for the 100 bits. A group of animals wanted to discuss an issue but avoided talking about it because there was an elephant in the room. <laughs> That's so funny. Welcome in. It's 
super nice to see you. I hope you are having yourself a wonderful day today, Herschel. We're, we're playing some Pokemon Snap and trying not to get angry at the professor when he disagrees with our beautiful pictures. Uh, but we got, we did get a photo this time, which is better than we did with Milotic. So, okay, yep, Un understood. Some of our photos are not real. Many of our photos are not real. Oh! So this guy does not like staying still. That is what I noticed. Professor, be wrong! It is a shame that that is not a photo that I can take. Like, that that's not a photo I can submit. Because I hadn't yet hit it with an orb. So 16 isn't awful. 17 is gorgeous, but I don't think would get being dead. We enjoy your jokes. Okay, 20 isn't bad either. I think I like 16 better because you can see the tips of its wings. Okay, so we're gonna say that that's the best we did. Oof. Oh. Chat, I don't know if I want to do Milotic again, but I should. Oh, it's a diamond star. Nice. And now we get level two. We might not do level two right now. Bay could have fire! That is fantastic. Oh my gosh, he keeps he keeps trying to report things to me. Which one was the one that I like? That one. That one's really pretty. I know it's not glowing. It would be prettier if I could take it with the glowing wings, but you know, that's just not the timeline that we live in. Okay? It's fine. Mmm, such a good vibe of a song. So what are you gonna tell me, Professor? Oh my gosh, chat, do you know what I realized? The professor took those photos as proof that Illumina Pokemon live on that volcano island. But he didn't acknowledge any of the pictures I took of Milotic, even though he's the one who told me that Milotic was there. He probably doesn't believe, probably doesn't believe me. Ooh. The Teller Meteorite. And, and Pokemon. Oh. Sure, okay. Oh, wow. This is a science theory. Sure. We're trying to find out if the legends are wrong, which is why our research is so important. I would suggest that there's lots of people who would think that kind of research is not important at all. But I like taking pictures, so I'm not one of them anymore. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Okay. Whoa. Hi, hi Todd. Kid, I think I figured out what you were talking about. Look, it's such a secret. Oh my gosh, you can take pictures of the Pokemon. Okay, so here's the thing, chat. I'm pretty sure the last time I was streaming this, which is probably, if you remember that, Kate, that might be why you're mentioning this. The last time that I streamed this, I was like, you keep sending me out into the world, like into the wild to take pictures of Pokemon. And it took me like six levels to find an Eevee, but there's literally an Eevee on the porch. If you wanted a picture of Eevee, why not just take pictures of the Eevee that's on the porch? 
I did not realize that the game was going to sass me this way. <laughs> Cool. We can take photos of the research camp. Hey, Stoutland. Do you like food? Yeah, you do. Sorry, why is there... It's a meow. It's a sleeping meow. That's not a good picture of that. Starly! Oh. Oh my gosh. There's a trubbish. Okay, I'm hoping I'm getting better pictures. Oop. Bunelby? Oh my gosh. I'm a pseudo -woodo. Oop. Oh my gosh, yes. Evie is such a pretty one. A watering trough. What, what is this? What is the the wood going to respond to? Hi, Pikachu. Nothing. Turn around, sir. And or ma'am. Those aren't. Are those Pokemon? Those are Pokemon. I did not even know that a cute fly was a thing. Okay. What else have we got? Oh, the Bunelby is still here. Oh my gosh. How do I get the Bun LB to come out and say hello? Gotcha. Are you gonna come closer? Oh, I'm missing something else. Oh, Stoutland is just so delightful. This is amazing. And I am truly so happy. <laughs> I am so happy that they allowed that. You can just go on a tour of the camp, take some pictures. Professor, this isn't a course. This is literally your house. Okay, we'll take the two star. That's fine. Inside the building, too? Oh, I wonder if that's gonna be like a route change that I can unlock or something. Nice, three star Starly. This is. These three pictures are so cute. We'll go with that one, though. Me that there was no subject there. That would make sense because there's like the little the little electric mouse that isn't a Pikachu and there's name I forget and like an Odino and stuff. There's there's so many Pokemon just wandering all the way around this camp. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, I love this.
Yeah, that's right. Gold star meow. This starly is really cool. You better give me good marks for this one. Pose 200? That's only a silver? Sir! We have aesthetic differences of opinion, the professor and I. It's fine. I like that uh, the garbage bag Pokemon is part of this camp. Does he just eat all of the trash? Is that his job, to eat the trash that they produce while they're doing research? Okay, but Smarmy Pikachu on the beach is definitely gonna win over whatever this score is. Thank goodness. Cause Smarmy Beach Pikachu is, he's, it's so good. Amazing. So the pseudo wudo is not facing me, but otherwise this is a good picture. Wow, that is a lot of points needed to level up this area. This photo is beautiful, and the professor is incorrect. This is fine. Return to camp, or retry the course at camp. It's fine. Okay, that is a super lovely little secret. I enjoy it very much. I am really glad that the game allowed such a thing. We have a day and night there. We have a volcano and an Illumina spot there. Okay, we're pretty close to level three on the beach and now we have orbs. So I'm gonna try the water stuff again and see if I can figure out how to make it night. Cause like truly, Truly, sometimes it is hard to tell how to advance. Oh my gosh, he was hungry. I think that might have thought that I was taking a picture of the brawler instead of, of the wingle, but you know. Oh my gosh, the stretching! I'm very annoyed that I blocked most of that with an apple. what I remember is there's a pretty rainbow beautiful Okay, excuse me now. I would like to move. Mm. 
They're so cute. Is this the directional thing? Well, yeah, but I don't really want to go this way. Okay, this is fine. Oops, I didn't mean to hit you, sorry. How is that stuck there? How do I how do I how do I sand? I don't know I don't know how to interact with the sand there, chat. Oh, there was a thing up there. That's a shame. That means I definitely missed something. Very cute Pikachu. Hmm, those are both not great pictures. Oh my gosh, so angry. Yes. Oh. Interesting. That was interesting. I feel like I got a couple of good pictures on that one. But I'm hoping I got enough to level up so that I can see what else is new on the beach. This game is so much fun. Okay, so I already have a perfect two star. Mm, let's try that one. Flying Pikachu. I like that one. Let's try that. The shadow of the wingle is super terrifying on this one. Do that one is smiling. Anger. Let's try that. Is cradling the fluff boot. This is best friend. Okay, well, that's not gonna be a better Raichu picture. And yeah, nothing, nothing is going on there. That's fine. So nothing new. Hmm, not even an improvement. That is a shame. Okay, that one's an improvement at least. 
the dancing blossom. Ooh, that one's also an improvement, but not not to a diamond, just to a gold star. That's okay. They're so cute. Ooh. And an improvement to a diamond star for the stun frisk. Aha! Perfect. And an improvement on the Octillery. So we got some improvement. That's good. Okay. Level... Seriously? Why? Like, okay. So I got 1,631 Expedition Points. Can anyone actually explain to me how the Expedition Points work? Because sometimes it feels like obviously the first time you go through a course, at, as much as possible, it seems to me like they give me expedition points for all of my photos. But on subsequent trips through a course, it feels like sometimes I get graded on improvement. If that's the case, and I'm only getting graded on improvement, then I'm like it's so much easier to get stuck like why do those things have to be tied together that is unfair that's so unfair 30 photos of the same Pokemon indeed fight me was it Pikachu it was probably Pikachu aww because that, like, and here I was thinking, oh, I should take pictures of as many, of a variety of Pokemon as I can so I can submit to the, them to the professor. But I'm like, no, if I like my picture of Pikachu, I'm not going to take another picture of Pikachu now. This is not helping your research, professor. She's so pretty. So pretty. I just, I just think she's pretty. And I think this game is ridiculous. And also lovely. Anger. But even still, like, I feel as though the ones that I got improvement on were significant enough. How am I supposed to continue to improve? When there aren't any more Pokemon in this level that I can get better pictures of. Okay, I'm doing it again. 994 is not a lot. But like, what Pokemon can I take pictures of that like will make it better? There's nothing over there. The wingles are far away. Except for that one. Which, if I could... Oh? What were you doing? It's fine. Okay. Why are you shaking your little mouse tail at me, Pikachu? Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty. I don't know if it worked, but it was pretty. Excuse me. 
I don't know how to make them. They don't eat. Do they? Oh, interesting. There's a wingo there. That's the directional thing. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. I think. Maybe. Are there even Pokemon on this side? Rainbow! Yes! And there's really no point in taking any other picture of a Corsola because I have the perfect picture. It's a rainbow. A non awful picture of a wingo. What is Pikachu doing? Really? You just keep going? Huh. Interesting. I did not get most of those pictures. Such a happy, such a happy executor. I did get the rainbow one! That's the one that I was excited for. It's why I wanted, okay, so when I saw that you got a picture of a rainbow corsola, I was like, I assume what you did is hit that flower with an orb and then it generated rainbows. And so, like, I want that. That's great. Need orbs first. And so I got the orbs and I was like, okay, so I need to do that. Which is why I wanted to go in that direction. Like, specifically. Anyway. Hopefully that picture alone will be enough to level me up. I definitely want the one that looks like he's jamming out in the club. That's a pretty good picture. No, I have the perfect two star. Actually, hold on. That one maybe. It doesn't matter. No matter what I do, it doesn't matter. I'll give him that one. There, There's a four star going on here. I don't know what they're doing, but four stars, I'll take it. Ooh. So the two star is kind of similar, but I could potentially get a big improvement on one star if I'm thinking in terms of points. Sure, I don't know what they're doing, but it exists. Four star. Okay. Definitely the one with the shiny. That is made of perfection, and I love it. Oh, I got it in the air! Okay, okay, okay. Sure. 
That should be enough to get me to the next expedition level on these. Yes. Amazing. Like, just tell me that doesn't look like this executor isn't about to, like, tell the DJ to take a break so that he can go up to the stage and read you some spoken word. Like, yes. Absolutely. That is, that is my vibe. Okay. Mild improvement on the wing gull. I mean, I think it could have been more centered, to be fair. Huh. Not really an improvement on the Crabrawler. Or whatever his name is. And Smug Pikachu is still winning. Nice, that's an improvement. I mean, that exists as a picture. Seriously? What part of that is not a diamond star photo, professor? Fine. Fine. I accept that the stun fisk was not facing me. But like if that trash is a gold star, anyway. Anyway. Okay, I can I can apparently do better on the Rainbow Corsola, but who knew? Okay, we do have research level three. And I have some, some photos I want to save. This one because it makes me laugh on the inside. Uh, this one because it is perfect. It's just it's so perfect. Yeah, feels good. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to camp now. Maybe. I don't actually know if I need to go back to camp if what I want to do is go to like the next level. So the options are, we can try and do some more stuff in Elsewhere Forest. We could play more in the volcano, or we could play more on the beach. See, this is still just a daytime beach. Well, let's see what changes now that we have level three. I don't know how to get nighttime beach. But hopefully the Pokemon are friendly. He has a hunch I'll find something new, huh? Oh my gosh. Are they gonna fight? They are gonna fight. Amazing. I hope one of those photos counted because that was a lot of photos. What are you doing, sir? Carrying something in its mouth, I think. Oh my goodness, there's three of them now. Oh my gosh, there's so many.
Okay. There's so many of these. There's so many of them. Which I'm okay with. They're adorable. Very aesthetically pleasing Pokemon. Oh no! Oh no, those Wingull definitely dove. I should probably go this way to see if I can figure out the sand. I don't think any of those are good pictures. Oh my gosh, that was a stunfisk jumping out. But, like... Does it sink eventually? That was a great picture. Oh, I completely forgot about the thing. Whoopsie. Um... Hello, sir. What are you going to do? What's he going to do? Adorable. I don't know what I'm supposed to paying attention to here. Sometimes when they say you're going to see new things, and then I go through the course and I go, yes, I saw Blastoise. Thank you. But the fact that it was a stunfisk that was jumping out of the sand under, under the water, that's kind of... It's too bad they're not really, like, centered in these shots, but... We'll go with that one. Sure. We have a three, we have a three. These are much better twos, I think. We'll go with that one. Oh, Pikachu. Yeah. The one underwater just laying there is very funny. <laughs> Usually, but do you have a suggestion as to someone that you'd like me to raid?
typically I like to um, vet any channels that I'm going to raid. Like I like to have watched them first, but oh my gosh, this this photo is perfect. But okay, that's a perfect photo. We're we're gonna was perfect. really not different, it's just happier. Yeah, no, I don't need to show him that picture. I think. Okay. There's a couple of people who are alive right now that haven't been live in like recent weeks and so I definitely have a few people that would usually be on my mind for raids for this afternoon assuming they're still live in 15 minutes which you know one hopes really okay aha big improvement on that one that's good If you want, Kate, if you have, like, people that you, people that you think you would like me to raid that you think I might not be aware of, you can always message me or drop in the Discord, like, information about who they are so that I can check out their streams in advance. And then I can, then I can see whether or not it seems like the sort of thing that I would want to drop the community off at. Okay, so a lot of these photos are just worse photos of these Pokemon. At least that one's better. Just just super cash. Super casually under the water. This photo is perfect. He is exactly in the middle. You can see the entire Pokemon. He's almost the size of the picture. And he's in the middle of doing something interesting. Thank you. I mean, I disagree that the pose is worth that little. <sighs> I think that should have been a higher scoring photo, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we now have Blastoise, which is very cute. And I am, I am happy to have a Blastoise as part of my collection. I think this one and this one are great photos, in my opinion. And this is the best photo of a stun fisk ever taken. Professor Rude. You're right. You are right, Focus. The professor has no idea. He just doesn't, he just doesn't understand, chat. He just doesn't understand. Still don't have night there, so I think I probably need to. Let's give let's give another try to the reef and see if we can get anything with like the orbs that we have now. Cause we have orbs now. Well, okay, traumatizing photos, but they were taken. I really struggle with those particular photos. Who are you looking at? Mm. 
why? Oh my gosh. Um. Why? What are they doing? They ha their mouths are so big! I'm very frightened. Squirtle. Why does that squirtle look so scared? Oops. Wrong button. How many times do I have to float through fruit before you like actually does a cool jump? Cause like he keeps jumping higher every time. Oh my. No? No more? Okay, that's fine. So what have I missed? Hello, whale lord. There's a whale. I love these guys. They're so big. Amazing. That Pokemon's definitely facing me. There's a little Mantine trio. Okay. Can I make them do anything? Nope, they're not very interested in that. Those are cool though. There's so much like screaming. Okay. There's like a flower over there. Okay. You do not have the dude in your Oh my god. Amazing. I feel like there's only like two pictures that I took in that run that were different or better. Which is a little annoying. Okay, so oh I have a choice to make. I think it's possibly easier for me to get the dive bombing photo again than to get this again but I can definitely like I need a better version of this I don't have a level three ha ah. okay we'll go with the level three all of these all of these are still a one star chat Somehow. Why? Like, 
Like, my Wailord photos are already perfect, okay? So we have two star of him being happy, four star of him glomping, or a bunch of one star options. I think I'm gonna go with the one star option. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Maybe I just wasn't taking the pictures at the right moment for the sharp sharpedo. Wow. Sure, okay. But this picture's a better picture, Professor. Chat, I'm sus that this professor knows anything about photography. Okay, but now we have level three for the reef as well. Okay. Yeah, so I can experiment with that and see what happens. I wonder how long it's gonna take before I figure out how to deal with night. Nice and relaxing. I hope you all had a chill time. I definitely did. Whew. I feel like that was a nice relaxing little stream. Some sweet little community time. Oh, very nice. And yeah, like I, I just didn't want to stress myself out too much around the holidays. So um, this, this style, this vibe of like game swaps will continue. Um, I will be, thank you for being here, Kate Bloomer. I will be, as far as I know, live again on Thursday. There is a small pin. Um, everything should be fine. Right now the plan is to stream Thursday at 2 p.m. and that should be fine. Shouldn't be any problems with that. There should be no problems at all. But just in case there are problems, we did learn that for maintenance reasons our building is shutting off the electricity and the water Thursday morning and they are supposed to be done. They're supposed to be finished uh, well before I start stream, but you know, sus. So everything should be fine. I should be streaming again on Thursday, um, and that will be the last stream before Christmas, but I should also be streaming next week. Like this year, I'm just kind of like, this is, this is fun. This is fun. And so we might have some weird schedules next week, um, as per usual. Um, but I'm kind of looking forward to the next few streams of just kind of casual relaxing content and then launching some new stuff in the new year and seeing seeing what that's all about. So thanks again to all y'all who are here, to all y'all who are chatting. Um, and like, I don't know, I just have fun doing this. And so I'm, I'm happy um, to see if you guys are also having fun with me. So I hope you enjoyed some of those pictures that I took and had a good time. 
we are gonna go on a raid um it's been a while since i've seen them live so we're gonna go raid trip draws uh who's playing super mario maker 2 um and appears to be doing viewer levels um i i i commend her for this um, but she's pretty cool, and so I would love to be able to take the opportunity, since I don't see her very often, um, to pop over there and to bring you guys with me. So hopefully that's okay with y'all. Uh, there's a raid message if you happen to be subbed. Otherwise, feel free to just do the general raid thing. Whew. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope to see some of you on Thursday. Um, but if I don't, I hope y'all have a merry winter holiday, happy holidays, merry Christmas, jingle all the way, whatever, whatever you choose to say. Um, I love you for it. And I just always hope the best. So for now, have a great evening, my time at least. Um, and maybe I'll see some of y'all on Thursday, but bye for now.